Hey guys, Justin Russell with RussellMarineProducts.com here on beautiful Bull Shoals Lake and go over the brand new Vexus 1980 AVX high performance boat. All right, guys, as you can see, the 2018 Vexus 1980. This is a boat that is 19 feet, 10 inches long, has a 95 inch beam, and it's an aluminum with fiberglass infused hull. Now, we'll go over a little later what that actually means from the fiberglass infused boat as well, but I wanna start off with the very basic stuff and what I think is really one of the most important things, obviously it has to get your boat to and from the lake, the trailer. You've got a four inch, C channel trailer. So you're not going to have the internal problems like a tubular trailer rusting internally and stuff. You've got the wiring that runs into a conduit pipe here on the side. You have what's called the Victor Shield protectant that's on the trailer. This is going to protect that from the pitting of rock chips from your truck throwing it up, going down a gravel road, or just picking up going down the highway. Definitely enhances the boat and uh, the trailer in terms of functionality as well, too, preventing it from rusting. The boat itself has a two-part um, finish on it. It's a hard case finish with a clear coat protectant. So it's not like another aluminum boats in the past where you see just a single stage type painting process, like an automotive type paint. This actually has a hard clear coat protectant on it to again, help with protection from rock chips, use stuff to help make that boat last quality product. Now this boat here with a 150 outboard on the back, 80 pound 24 volt four trex trolling motor starts out at 31,995. That's factory rigged. So options adding from there. This is an aluminum boat that you can add power poles, talons to, you can add big electronics. The bow section has a recessed trolling motor pedal. Also, you can flush mount a nine inch size screen in the front bow section. I don't know of another boat on the market currently that allows you to be able to use a nine inch unit on that uh, front bow panel section. From the back here, we're gonna go ahead and jump into the interior of the boat and start going over some of the interior components and also cover what that actually means by a fiberglass infused um, aluminum hull as well. All right guys, gonna start off on the bow of this boat. One of the key features I wanna point out is we've got a Lowrance nine inch screen flush mounted in the bow of this boat. The other interesting thing that I really think is an important feature is standard on this boat is a 24 volt 80 pound thrust four trucks trolling motor. We have a recessed trolling motor tray that is also standard on this. Have a cup holder up front and tool holder. This boat comes standard with two fishing seats or sit down seats and they offer in a free exchange upgrade program to get the upfront butt seat if you want. You can do the same thing on the stern as well. You can exchange the sit down seat for a butt seat. Where this boat really gets interesting and one of the features I really like is we've got two rod lockers on this boat. We've got a center rod compartment and a port side rod compartment. Now the port side rod compartment will hold rods that are seven foot, 10 inches long, more than enough for the big flip and stick, but for you, some of you swim bait fishermen out west that really like a long rod, the center rod compartment here will hold a rod that is eight foot, four inches in length. And the important thing to remember is these boats also have rod organizers in the, both the port side and the center rod storage compartment. So this isn't just a compartment that you lay your rods in like years from the past. It's actually a fully finished carpet on the insides, reinforced decks. The other thing is like a lot of other bass boats, the high dollar ones, we're gonna talk about the compression latches here. We've got a trim seal up here on top. We've got a compression latch that when it pulls down and you close it, it compresses that down and creates the seal to keep them watertight. So you're not gonna have water get in those compartments in case it's raining on you, rough water, things along those lines. The other cool feature I like, and I think it's an important one for me with my back issues that I've had, is on the starboard side of the boat, you've got easy access to the cooler 
And the most important part, there's a step in the center compartment here in front of the center compartment to allow you to be able to get up on the front deck easier without making a big wide jump or big step to get up to the front deck. Now the reason why I like the cooler on the side versus being in the middle, if you need to get ice in the morning when you're at the gas station, you can open this compartment from outside the boat and easily put your ice in, put your drinks in. You're not constantly in and out of the boat first thing in the morning. You know, if you're tracking stuff in your boat, you don't have to worry about with this feature here. Now we're going to jump over and start covering what the dash looks like and go towards the stern of the boat. All right, guys, talking about the console here, again, one of the first things I want to start with, we've got a 9-inch unit flush mounted in here. Now, this dash can take a 12-inch unit, so we can get a 12-inch unit here, full gauge packer. We have light-up LED switches over here on the side. Now, one of the big things that I really want to talk about is since we're comparing I want to make sure everyone compares apples to apples comparison on this aluminum boat. We have hydraulic steering that is standard on this boat and this boat also comes standard with a stainless steel prop. So again some of the other aluminum boats come standard with just a cable steering or dual cable steering and aluminum prop. We have hydraulic steering, stainless steel prop on here, we've got the good light up switches over here. We have two, or excuse me, we have a a uh, 12 volt plug-in over here and we also have a USB plug-in over here to be able to charge your cell phones. Now bucket seats are standard in this. You have an optional flip down suite, a flip down seat with cup holders and you also have a standard step up here as well too with another storage compartment in there which is perfect for tools, pliers, fishing related type stuff, scale, culling, um, culling systems and things along those lines. On the passenger side over there, we do have a, uh, a rod ramp that allows you to passenger to be able to put their rods and also buckle them down and make sure that they're secured for the passenger as well too. So fiberglass console, not plastic, not steel. This is a fiberglass console, same painting process on the rest of the boat so it matches to a T. And again, this dash will take a 12 inch unit here. Now from here, we're gonna get more into the back storage compartments. And I want to show what's really important in the back storage back there. There isn't a fuel tank. The fuel tank's right underneath the seats here. And the important thing about that is it's going to help with stability. It's going to be a stable platform both forward and backwards and left and right. And you eliminate the taking up the back storage compartment so we have more room back there to be able to mount pumps for power poles, talons, all the accessories and stuff, spare props that we can do. We have areas back here where we now can mount that. So let's start working our way back towards the back deck of the boat and we'll show you some of that stuff here in a minute. All right guys, as you can see back here on the back deck, one of the main things I wanna talk about is the back storage compartments on both the port and starboard side of the boat. These are fiberglass compartments these are four times the industry standard. We have a raised lip here with weather strip seal. We've got our compression latches that we've seen previously. The other important thing I want to go over too is if you see here, everything on here is finished out. Very high quality, not raw aluminum, not raw material, so they're not going to oxidize, not going to turn color, not going to get discolored. The other thing is, again, fiberglass live well. We've got a splash guard system in here that prevents the water from sloshing out, getting all over the back deck of the carpet. Now we're going to move back to the last compartment, which is going to encompass back here our battery compartment. The very last compartment we're going to go over, which is one of the most important in my opinion, is the battery compartment. And the reason why I say that is I really feel like on a lot of boats and a lot of manufacturers, this is kind of an afterthought or just something that's thrown together. As you can see here, really nice organization. Everything's open. You're not going to have to remove stuff to get the live well pumps. Three bank battery charger does come standard. We've got a main on and off switch over here. We've got a circuit breaker down here. Again, super clean, open. For a guy like me that's been rigging boats for a long time, I appreciate the fact that it makes everything easy to get to when there's an issue, if there's an issue, super easy to get to it, easy to fix everything, saves time, saves frustration. Again, rear lid back here, a finished component to that. They're not leaving anything untouched, anything unfinished like a lot of other boats out there. One of the other things from a structural component, Look at all these gussets down here that tie the transom of the boat to the hole and stringer system that's in this boat. Super tough, super strong, and that's a part of that AVX high performance hole system here. So next thing to do, let's get this thing out on the water and go for a run.